hi guys if you'd love to see how i achieved this look then continue watching don't forget to give this video a massive thumbs up subscribe like comment and share and let's get right into the video so this is what the final hair looks like yes girls mm -hmm. give it to them <laughs> all right let's get right into the video but but wait a minute hold up wait a minute i see you you see me mm -hmm. yes give it to them give them take it <laughs> all right guys so my name is miriam tambor welcome or welcome back to my youtube channel i make videos on all things inspiration motivation and vlogs uni life and all the good stuff so check me out and subscribe let's get right into the video all right, so first things first, you need to do your cornrows. I'm just gonna show you guys how I do my cornrows. I do all this by myself, y'all can see. If you would love a detailed video on how I do all this, I'm going to suggest my video somewhere here on top. Just tap on that. I also have a hair playlist made just for my hair videos. So if you would love a detailed video, just uh, as soon as this video is done, just tap on the hair playlist. I'm going to leave it on the screen and watch it. This is just my current hair edition. Nothing much has changed. And also, disclaimer, the hair I'm using in this video, first things first, is... It's, it's, it, uh, they're my crochet hair, okay? This is the hair that I've already used. So, I won't be showing you guys from the packet. But if you'd love to know the type of hair I'm using, I'm going to comment. I'm going to pin it in the comment section. Just check. Yes, and the beauty about this hair is that it is reusable. You can use it so many times. This is why you have to be quite selective in choosing the type of hair that you are going to buy. Not all crochet hair is reusable, by the way. So I figured out why not make a video because your girl has been bored. She's been lonely in this um, situation.
all right so you guys have seen i finished doing doing my corners so i'm going to start crocheting my hair obviously you need a crochet hook it's very affordable you can find this hook anywhere literally so you just push the hook inside open it and the beauty of this hair is that it's got a small hole inside where you just clip it in the hook once you do that you close it and you just pull it away it's very very easy so yeah that's what i'm doing and i'll be doing this for the rest of my head i don't know how long it's going to take but it's very easy crocheting here is it's the easiest thing to do so yeah let's continue i hope you are enjoying this video already don't forget to do the needful keep doing the likes the liking i'm a like support <laughs> all right let's continue if I could wake up and the taste was gone I could get over you, forget your wrongs So I exhale and let you out my lungs Somehow your name's still rolling off my tongue Everybody knows how this story goes Everybody knows how this story Everybody knows Hi guys, just a piece of advice. Every time you're doing your hair by yourself, always ensure that you start with the front part first. Um, because most of the time the hair is not enough. So if your front is okay, then that, that's what matters. So many people make the mistake of starting with the backside and um, in an event they, there is not enough hair to put in front. So always start with the front and then... Um, Continue at the back once you have hair left because you can never really can tell how much hair comes in these pockets. All right, so let's continue. Alright guys, so at this part of the video, this point really, I'm just trying to find the places that don't have enough hair so that I can fill up the gaps. It's Doing this hair is an extreme sport, honestly. It's not easy. It's not for the faint-hearted. But anyway, it just took me an hour or so. Time duration depends on your hair, your hair type and your head, how big your head is. So it varies as per individual. I'm not a hair stylist, I'm not the best type of person to do hair, but this is what I do. As I always tell you guys, always do what works for you. This is what works for me and I always do it and I'm just here to show you guys what works for me. So, yeah, how are you guys coping up during this situation? What new habits have you guys incorporated in your routines, if at all you have any routines? And as usual, this is what my hair looks like. At this point, nothing much is going to happen. I'm just going to be adding hair in the missing places. And yes, if you love this video, please give it a massive thumbs up. Comment below and don't forget to subscribe.